Hello, everyone. It is Tuesday, the 22nd of January, 2019. Well, it's all going to get down to uh, 10 days, starting not this coming Thursday, but Thursday a week from Thursday, when it starts. When it lands, and that 10 days is up. Whether we do a good job or not will determine, believe it or not, whether we slow down this movement towards socialism, whether we do a good job will help President Trump. It's up to us. It's up to us. Now, before I go any further, I want to do something a little different because contributions are just about none. So I want to talk about it in the beginning of the program instead of the end when people may have bugged out. Folks, I need your help now. Please. If you can help at all, Please send it to NicholsLive at AOL.com on PayPal. NicholsLive at AOL.com on PayPal. If you can't use PayPal, go to NicholsLive.com, and there you will see how there are other ways to help. Please do it. I mean, if, if you just send a dollar, enough dollars is some dollars. But the other thing that gets me, if people can't send a dollar, just one dollar, I worry that I can't count on the listeners to make phone calls. Guys, these phone calls are not a joke. This this is not something that you can say you will and maybe do a little bit of it, but not. Either we get full participation or we fail. You hear me? We don't get full participation. We fail. And we don't have the opportunity to fail anymore. Einstein had a theory. I don't remember what he called it, but... He took a ball, he put it on the end of a six-foot string, and he spun it around. The ball would go so fast. Then he cut the string in half, same amount of energy, and he spun the ball around. But he noticed that the ball moved faster. And then when he cut the string in half again, had the ball, spun it around the same way, it went faster still. And what he was saying was, as you get closer to the event, which in the case of the ball on the string was the hand making the thing go around, as you get closer to the event, time compresses. What does that mean? Time compresses means things that used to take two years to happen, happen in a month or in six months. Things that we used to see that took place 10 years ago and very seldom, now it's happening overnight. I was doing Jason Goodwin's program today and he was making a good point. You realize it, it wasn't that many years ago. Remember Barney Frank? It wasn't that many years ago. Barney Frank was almost kicked out of the United States House of Representatives because he was found to be a homosexual. Almost kicked out. Today, if you're a homosexual, it's a plus. Back then, if you had a family member, remember Ronald Reagan, family member Ronald Reagan had Ronnie Reagan, who was a homosexual, and it was a liability to him during his whole administration. Today, it's a plus. 
to have a family member that's gay. It's unbelievable how things have changed. And there's a change still coming. And that change coming is socialism. And guys, you've got to do what I have done. Each and every one of you are going to have to do it. You're going to have to take an oath. You. Before God. But you're not going to sit back and let socialism take over our country. Please tell me you'll be that. How do I read your comments? You know, on the YouTube things. I read your comments. I, I read them. You can talk to me there. I saw a handful of people that said they were with us on making the calls. I should be seeing 800 people that are saying they're with us on the calls. I should be seeing 800 people send a dollar or 50 cents or a quarter. We have to do it this time. I have sat back for years. And had people say to me, well, what can we do? When are you going to tell us what to do? When are you going to tell us what to do? Many of you have done that to me. You've said, when are you going to tell us what to do? When do we do something? Well, that day's here. Now. Now. And it'll be here in one week and one day, I guess. You see, today's Tuesday. Yeah, so it'll be... A week and a day from now, eight days from now, we're going to start. And we're going to go for ten days solid. Now, here's how it's going to work. Let me break it down so maybe it won't scare you so bad. <clears throat> Every day, I expect you, you see the word I use? Expect you to pick a senator, one of your senators, and I want you to call that senator's local office in your state, and I want you to call that senator's office in Washington and read the script that's applicable. If the senator is a Republican, read the one for Republicans. If the senator is a Democrat, read the one for the Democrat. So you'll call him in his home office, then you'll call him in his Washington office. Then you wait a couple of hours, and you're going to do it again. Call him in his home office, call him in his Washington office. And you're going to wait a couple of hours, and you're going to do it again. You're going to call him in his home office and call him in his Washington office. That is six calls. Six. The average call will be about a minute, minute and a half to read the script. As you read it more and more, you'll get much more proficient. Folks, that means you're going to spend maybe 12 minutes on the phone a day. For 10 days. Can you do that? Is the country worth 12 minutes a day for 10 days to you? I got to know. So I want everybody that's hearing my voice now to send a comment. It doesn't have to be a lengthy comment. It doesn't. But I want to know. And it's imperative that I know. I got to know. If you're going to do it, will you please use the comment section and say, yes, Larry, I will, or yes, I am, yes, I'm going to, whatever you want to say in as few words as you need to say it in as few words. Can you do that, please? Can you commit to 10 days given 12 minutes a day to saving your country? Can you? And can you please send through the comment section. If you can't send a dollar or five dollars or ten dollars, you at least send a message in the comment section saying that you're in, that you're going to make the calls. And when I see that you say you're going to make the calls, I'm taking it, folks, that you have taken an oath before God that you will do this. You will. Can you do it? Day two. You take the other senator. You do it again. Six calls. Twelve minutes. 
the third day, you're going to pick your representative in your district. You're going to call home office in the Washington office six times. The next day, the fourth day, you're going to take another congressman in your state. Try to get close to your district if you can. Work from your district out. So take the next congressman, six calls, 12 minutes or less by this time because you're actually spending or doing the, the reading faster. The fifth day, you take another congressman, the same. You go, you do it. Now, by the fifth day, there's a good chance, or even maybe sooner, there's a good chance. You don't even have to read the script. You're just going to call them, and you're going to start reading the script they're going to hang up on you. Yeah, that's going to happen. And when they start hanging up on you, just the minute you say, hello, I'm, and start to read, and they hang up on you. The neat thing is, you didn't even have to spend two minutes, and they count the call. Isn't that neat? So now, somewhere around the fourth or fifth day, maybe even the third day, if all of you will send me a thing saying you're in, if I can get 800, 1,000, 1,300, however many people view this video, if I can get you to say you're in, and I know you're in, guys, it may be that by day three they're hanging up. And then you really get to have fun because then you just call, say a few words, hang up. You can actually then make your calls closer together. Six calls a day. Just six calls a day. Just six calls a day. Let me tell you the magic that goes on. When you call your first day, the senator or your congressman, whichever one you choose to call first, when you call it, and you talk to them six times, or talk to their office six times, you're not one person anymore. You're six. You are six people then. Now imagine, let's just take a small number of a thousand. If we have one thousand of you actually promising and making the phone calls. One thousand. You become six thousand. And if we can get 10,000, we become 60,000. And there'll be a time during this 10-day period when they start hanging up on you just the minute you say a word. Folks, we can make more than six calls a day. The only reason you make six calls a day in the beginning is so that they don't recognize your voice. But when they're just hanging up on you, you can blitz through, blitz creep through and call 50 times a day. And every time you call, that's a ding on their counter. This little girl or guy in the office is going to turn around to that senator or that congressman and the congressman will say, well, what's happening today? Our phones are inundated with these people. Our tweets are inundated with these people. And they'll panic. Then the magic really starts to work because you're getting so many calls from y'all that then other people are calling and disapproving of the senator or the congressman. Other people are calling, giving them help. Pretty soon they'll start counting those calls into our group. And we will become a force so big that we make a difference. Somebody's going to ask, if you ask somebody to help us, if you're trying to get some of your friends that are like-minded to help us and to make calls, and I need you to do that, by the way, you need to know what to tell them. Because they're going to say, oh, that, that won't work. That won't work. People are so quick to say it won't work because of the 11th commandment. 11th commandment, thou shalt not rationalize. And people can rationalize themselves out of doing anything. You need to explain to them. We're using two basic principles of politics. Two of the most fundamental, the most basic Principles of politics. You may want to write them down. Number one, the most important rule of politics. The first rule, the most important one, is you have to understand that congressman, that senator that you're calling does not give a hoot in a tinker's dam about you, your family, your state, 
your country, anything but their job. That's all they care about. That's it. Maybe you don't think that's true, but it's absolutely true. They don't care about the border. They don't care about illegal immigrants, for them or against them. They don't care. They care about keeping their job. What position have they got to keep take to keep their job? Then the second principle, the second rule, is you can never make someone like you enough to work as hard to get you elected as some as as someone that hates you will work to defeat you. I kind of stumbled on that, so let me say it again. You can never get someone to like you enough to work as hard to get you elected as someone that hates you will work to defeat you. They know that one well. They know it well. That's why when you call up about an issue, they try to be patronizing because they don't want to make you mad. Because they know if they make you mad, you'll go running and screaming and telling everybody you can get your hands on it. The senator or congressman has let me down or treated me rude, whatever. We're using those two principles on them. Now, I saw in one of the, um, in one of the comments, somebody said all of my congressmen are Democrats. I want you to call Democrats. They're just as vulnerable. They're just as vulnerable as the Republicans. And we've got a message to tell them. We're trying to get off of fighting Trump and trying to get him impeached. And they, get, they need to start worrying about the people that elected them. They need to worry about the country. Something they're not doing. So I don't care if you've got Democrats or Republicans or a mix. It don't matter. You call them all. You've got a script for each. You got a script for the Republicans and a script for the Democrats. Now, will you promise me tonight, or whenever you hear this recording, that you will add something in the comment section saying whether you will or will not be making the phone call? If I don't hear from you, if you don't put anything in the comments, then I'm going to assume you're not calling. I have to. I can't gamble on this. I have to assume. If you won't at least put something in the comments saying whether you're in or out, i got to assume you're out. And one last thing before I go. You must have faith. Faith. Yes, we're relying on the rules of one and two of politics and what goes on in politics, those two rules. And yes, we're relying on numbers that I hope we get. But there's another big thing that's bigger than all of that. And I'm not the person to be talking to you about it because I don't do preachy stuff very well. But I need you praying to the Lord. Praying to God. Pray. Get on your knees and pray for his guidance and his help. And I think it's okay. I don't know. I think it's okay for us to ask for a miracle. I think it is. I don't want to do nothing that's wrong to nobody. I say prayers. God hears our prayers, I believe. I have faith. Believe in faith. I know God's as real as the chair I'm looking at right now in my home. I know God's as real as the floor I'm standing on. Do you? Do you know? And I'm even going to go one step further. If you haven't confessed to God, if you haven't confessed to the Lord and Savior your sins and ask Him to forgive you and to accept us, if you haven't done that, please do it for yourself. It's one thing if we end up being a socialist country. That that's bad. That's that's awful. It's almost unbearable. I mean, it is unbearable. It's not almost. It's unbearable for me to think. But I do think about one other thing. 
That's a blink of an eye, a twinkle of an eye, just for a moment. But if we don't take the time, we don't take the time to, I don't know how to say these words, so forgive me. If we don't take the time to ask God to forgive us and tell him that he is our Lord and Savior, I believe you can spend all eternity in hell. And I think that's even, I can't even imagine all eternity, a thousand years, I just can't imagine it. We need every asset we have. And I'm not too proud to know we need the greatest asset that's available to us, and that's Jesus Christ. Now, if you don't like me talking about stuff like that, the hell with you. Can't help you. So with that, folks, I'm going to say goodbye, but I am going to ask you to do one of two things. Please Send what you can today on PayPal. I need your help. If you can't even do that, whatever it is, I don't care if it's a quarter, 50 cents, a dollar, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, which is five hundred, I wish there was a couple of thousand dollar ones. That would sure help you. Surely there's somebody listening to me right now that could put ten thousand dollars into this thing to help us get going. We've got to develop this whole concept of never socialism. I mean, I don't even have money, and I'm spending money that I don't have developing never socialism. And I'll explain what it is later. Can't you help? And if you can't do a quarter or a dime or 50 cents or whatever, go to the comment section and let us know that you are going to make the phone call. Dear God, please do that. Let me know you're in or you're out. Ten minutes, twelve minutes a day for ten days. That's what I ask of you. If you can't do that, I don't think you love this country very much. You say, well, there's no guarantee to work. There's no guarantee in life for that damn thing. Ten minutes a day, twelve minutes a day for ten days ought to be worth at least trying, don't you think? With that, I bid you all a good day.